evening, Mayor Gilmore Patterson. I want to start by saying, first of all, I'm a nice guy. <laughs> I don't bother nobody. I don't uh, walk around with a chip on my shoulder or menace people and so forth. I think I'm a gentleman and have a good demeanor. But when you ruffle my feathers, watch out. So I tell you now, you see me and a bear in a fight, help the bear. At the last uh, debate that I attended, and I won't be at the one tomorrow, I have a previous appointment, but let me make something out of that. I was talking and bringing up the subject matter of the failure of this administration. Exponential failure, over and over and over. But it didn't get testy until the end. When I presented this picture, and I'm just quite appropriate that it would uh, be the subject matter of this evening's conversation, thank you, Tom, of all the dirt and garbage and debris around the city. And it was this picture of the Montgomery, Land, uh, Lawrence Street, Fulton Street, and Dead End, where all of the garbage is accrued in there for the last few years. Property bought for $1.3 million to house a salt dome. A salt dome that was mandated by EPA to expand the capacity of storage for the city, of which I said our problem in this winter would have been somewhat alleviated if we had followed the proper uh, direction and mandate from EPA. And there was a couple more items I said as well. To hear in my left, the mayor called me a liar. Well, you know, those are fighting words. The man disrespected me. I never said anything out of the way to him. I talk about issues. I don't take personal, I don't go after him personally. It's issue orientation. So my natural response was, in the nicest way I can put it, was to ask him to stop. I actually told him to shut up. He forced me to do that. I've seen him since then, but he didn't have the courage enough to say to me, Dave, because I know him on the first name basis. We got off on the wrong foot. I apologize. He didn't do that. So he's taken it to another level. And if that's the way it's going to be, then that's the way it's going to be. I look forward to the next series of debates when we can go back at it again. Because whatever he can dish out, I can take and give it back, if that's what you want. This city is in trouble. And it wasn't until we put this signage up that we hit a nerve. And the nerve is that the incompetence and lack of performance continuously is what you see now promulgated around the city in terms of all the garbage and debris. Please conclude. Yes, I will. The fact of the matter is there are other things going on here behind this picture. The dumping, we know it's an issue. The lack of change orders for the additional stuff coming up from Pennington Park is an issue. The fact that there's no track record on how these things happen is an issue. We need more accountability, and on that note, I will just say again, as it is election season, I'm Dave Gilmore, vote for a May 13th in the next election. Thank you, Mr. Gilmore. Thank you. Next speaker, Yes.